Hey everyone. Uh, this is a little video about Zoom. A few people have come to me recently with the issue that they've been having where some of their recorded meetings have been disappearing from their meetings list. Uh, it looks like after a recent update, you can now only schedule 50 days out from your starting date. So, for example, this sample meeting that I created, when I go in to edit it, <clears throat> you'll see here that I listed the end date for the class as June 25th, but now because uh, it'll only schedule out 50 occurrences from the start date, even though I set the end date up for June, the last class that appears on my list is actually May 6th. And so after May 6th, my meeting is going to disappear from the list. So there is two ways around this that I have uh, discovered. And I wanted to show everybody how to do this because this has been, you know, an issue for a few people lately. Click edit and then click edit all occurrences. <clears throat> this will bring up your meeting screen, your creation screen. And in order to avoid this uh, from happening, go in and edit the start date. So as you get close to the end of your 50 allowed uh, scheduled occurrences, go in and change the start date. Now, I can't change this here because... Um, well, I can't change it to anything earlier, but I can change it to something later. So if I go ahead to May, since May 16th was my last day, I can change the start date to May 17th and leave the end date the same, and it will recreate my uh, class for me and continue the occurrences. <clears throat> but it needs to be done close to whatever the last date is on your list. So now mine starts May 17th and goes out to the end of the year. The other thing you can do is something that I've noticed recently. So here's the open Zoom consultation that I use when we're doing virtual school. So go to your edit screen. <clears throat> and when it asks you for... Uh, the duration of your class. So we go here to where it says recurring meeting and then under recurrence, you have daily, weekly, monthly. If you click on no fixed time, this will allow you to create a Zoom session that can be used any day at any time in perpetuity. So this link never expires and there is no set time. So you can create this open link send it to your students, send it to parents, whomever, and give them a specific day and time that you'd like to meet with them. And that link will always work. And this is probably an even easier workaround uh, than changing the date for classes that are about to expire. Hopefully this isn't uh, too confusing. If you wanna come speak to me in person and I can show you a little bit more about this, feel free to stop by or email me.